Hi there. Hey, Cindy. I'm going to do kind of a quickie. Somebody asked me if I would do this page. So, hi, Carrie. But I'm sorry, Carrie, I probably won't remember. But that was my mother's name. I'll remember Carrie, but I don't know that I'll remember it was you. Thanks for joining me, y'all. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. I thought I got it on my iPad so I could watch that and not have to stand up and, ah, it's here. Good. Okay. Maybe I can sit down and draw today. This should be kind of quick. Um, and hi there, living by grace. Okay, um, I'm going to do this in pan pastels just because it's quick and I don't have to do any kind of prep. Hi from Kansas City. I don't have to do any kind of prep on the page for those that, that are new or, um, haven't joined lately. I'm using pan pastels. This is the set I have. It's a set of eight. I mean, ten. And these are the colors. This is different from soft pastels. Uh, someone said they used soft pastels and they couldn't get them the color on the little sponges. So these are a lot softer than soft pastels. So that's what I'm using today. I got these from Amazon. They just went up in price again. I think they've gone up twice this week. So uh, they were like $34 when I got them. And they're up to 40-something now, I think. So you might want to keep a lookout, and they might go back down again. And the tools that I got to go with them, these don't come with them. There are several sponges that come with them, um, some like this and some little ones like this, and there are a few more. But then I got these. Uh, these are called soft tools, and... Um, you just put sponges on the end of them, and you have you can buy a little bag of refill sponges. They come in four different ones. Um, this one is pointed. You see a square one. This one's rounded, and this one is kind of a rounded point. Okay. Now, I, I just wanted to point out one thing. Um, these are done in pan pastels, but I did, I, when I painted, I just got an interleaf Bible. I found it on sale, and I got so excited that... Um, I went ahead and bought it, even though I was going to try to wait, but um, I painted the front of my Bible, and these are basically, this is basically exactly the same thing, except this one I used acrylic paints, and this one I used the pan pastels, so um, you, can, you can do this with watercolors, you could do it with acrylics, whatever, but I, I just like to use, uh, when I'm doing a scope, I like to use the pan pastels a lot, because... Um, it's fast, and you don't have to prep, and it, you don't have to wait for something to dry. So I'm going to sort of do something like this. I haven't really planned it out, and I didn't plan this out. I just I did the words words first. Oh, fun. I hope you like them, Lynn. Um, I did the words first, and then I just kind of started um, drawing the flowers. You can use the pan pastels even with other things. Um, I... This is a page that I did. I drew the spoon with pencils, and then I did the background. I put on stickers for these words, and then um, I did the background with pan pastels because it doesn't wrinkle the page. It doesn't go through, and so um, it works really well. I have my iPad. I sound like I'm distracted. I've got my iPad in front of me so I could read your comments and not have to stand up to draw, but... What I'm seeing is delayed from what I'm seeing on my phone, so that's kind of weird. Anyway, okay, um, guess what? I did this page yesterday, and guess what they sang at church this morning? You're a good, good father. I loved it. So I went ahead, ahead and wrote that on this page. This is from Psalm 119, eight, let's see, I think it's... 68, you're good and do good, teach me your statutes. And there are a lot of uh, different scriptures about God being good, so you don't have to pick this one, but this is just the one that I chose to use. Okay, I'm just going to start off with the yellow and just make some circles for the flowers. Maybe. 
maybe another bigger one going off. I made that one kind of crazy big. Um, and I don't see my eraser right off hand. I may decide to do that one a little bit smaller when I actually get ready to put the rest of the colors on. But like I said before, I can't erase um, the pan pastels. Let me turn on this other light. Okay, and I'll do one down here. Okay, and then I just mix these two, the red, or you can put just straight red on there. And I'm going to do it darker in the middle. And then I'm just going to do some streaks going around. Like I said, I'm going to make this flower a little bit smaller. I got kind of carried away when I did it. So I'm not going to go all the way to that big edge I did. It is easy, y'all. I promise you, this is the really the easiest. All you're doing is just kind of going around and making some petals. I am going to blend them just a little bit, but... Um, no water used. These are pastels, so you don't have to use any water. You don't have to do anything to your page. That's why, it's, that's why I like them so much, because they're um, no prep or anything. I'm going to just take a makeup sponge and just smooth it a little bit, but you don't want to overwork them so that it, everything blends together. You want to, somebody said my colors were so vibrant, and I don't mess with them a whole lot. Just put them on there and let it be let that be it. Okay. okay. All right. So now I did some pink. Oh, and um, after you, when, if you're going to change colors, you just wipe the sponge off on a paper towel. You don't have to change it out every time. Sometimes a little bit of it doesn't come off, but you can get most of it off that way. So when you hear a funny noise down there, that's what it is. I'm going to mix the white and the red and just make some pink flowers, just little circles. Yeah, it looks a little like watercolor, but okay, and well, I'm going to go ahead and put a little tiny bit of black in the center of those um, red ones, and I'm going to use a pen in a minute and make some uh, more lines in it, but Oh, and I actually had a little black in the middle of these, too, on my other page. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go with purple, and I'm just going to make some flowers coming down, like a kind of like a vine coming down. And you see, you really don't even have to do anything. The little tool does it all by itself. Put one coming down this way. I'm 
and see how fast it is. Got my tray in the way. Trying to, I was trying to put it so you could see the colors, but I don't think you can. Okay, then I put some little blue flowers. Just mix some. I mix blue with a little bit of the white. And just made some little flowers like this. Um, I think these are called soft tools. If you look on Amazon, usually if you do a search for the pan pastels and scroll down to the bottom, these are down there too. Um, I think they're soft tools maybe. Okay. All right, to, um, then I did some leaves, and I mixed, like I said, this green that comes with this set of eight is kind of not exactly a natural green, but I love this color. It's pretty, but so sometimes when I make a green, I mix, just mix the yellow and the blue. It makes, it makes more of a, oh, really? Michael's had, oh, you saw the tools at Michael's or the pan pastels? Okay, we'll just do some. So you can use the side of the brush and the, or the sponge and or the um, any part of it. Make a couple more like that. Maybe some coming on top. Well, I don't know. The Bible pages being smooth, it doesn't always. Um, it won't accept everything. It after a while it gets saturated and you either have to put a fixative on it and then um, try to add some more. Okay, I'm going to go to that green that comes with the set, which like I said, I like the, I like the color. It's just... Um, maybe I'll make one over here to cover up some of this yellow I put on there. On that too big a flower. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with that right now. Not that I'm finished, but just to um, show you what I did then um, with the with these little ones. I went around whatever black you have, and I made a, maybe in the center you could do something like that. And y'all look, now see, I'm just scribbling. So this is, I don't think I used, the black I used on my Bible page was not quite so uh, big is this one because I didn't want to cover up my words. Dibble dabble, scribble scrabble, that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm going to go around these two. And I'm intentionally not trying to be neat, as you can see. Go around the leaves and... and sorry, I've got a very squeaky chair. Yes. And as you can see when I'm doing this, I'm not trying to be perfect. It doesn't always go exactly where I put the um I put the uh, pastel. 
but the black does make it stand out. And let me see, I think I've got a green I can use to, oops, I skipped one. Um, th this is the um, Tombow Dual Brush let's see, um, set, and it has a lot of different colors in there. So that's what I'm using. Now I've got the green one, and I'm just going to sort of attach some of these. You could you could use it and make some little curly cues here and there. Okay, I forgot to put yellow in the middle of my or a color in the middle of my flowers. So I'll do that. Well, if I do smear it, all I've got to do is get an eraser and, and I can erase where I made a mistake, but I, I wouldn't rub my hand over the top of it. This pen may be a little big for these little flowers, but I'll try to go a little bit slower and use the tip. I shouldn't have put that so close to my words, but As you can see, I'm not being careful at all. These are whimsical flowers, so they're not supposed to look perfect. Okay, now I can add a background. I've got it pretty busy, so the words don't stand out a whole lot, but um, let's see, what color background should I do? Oh, one, one other thing I want to do. Um, Oh, where's that white? I'm going to put a little kind of highlight in the middle of these flowers. I did this, and this is the uh, Sharpie water-based um, extra fine paint pen. Oops, I've forgotten this poor little flower over here in the corner. I've left it out totally. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's see. I should put a piece of paper under here if I'm going to do the, because it will get on, it, it'll smear on the um, edge of the book. And I'll just use some different colors for the background, maybe start. That might be a little bit intense, but.
And I'll just cover up some of that yellow I put on there. And this will just mix with it. That's the best color combination. I'm not being very careful, girls. I'll be sure to check your followers after the scope. I had to clean about eight out the other day after my last scope. Yes, I will use a fixative. Um, I use this Spectra Fix. I started off just using hairspray because I'm um, sensitive to smells and all the fixatives that I found were very smelly and even after I'd opened my Bible, they would smell. So this one is somehow milk-based or something, but it's um, archival and um, supposed to be fine. So. That's why I bought that one. It's a little bit more expensive. I've cleared out a lot of creepers this week. Um, I'm not sure if I'm loving the background, but when y'all do this, you can plan a little bit better than I did. I was just trying to do this really fast. Try not to have them last more than, um, yeah. I think that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get us all to go on their site. <laughs> anyway, I try not to let them last more than 20 minutes, so. Okay, I'm going to get that makeup sponge again and kind of soften where this, this edge all around. It's snowing here, y'all. It's supposed to be the first day of spring, and it's snowing. I don't like that. Okay, um, on these little pink flowers, I'm just going to erase um, kind of where I... Um, it looks like I'm erasing the... I think I am erasing the highlight. I should have done this first. Anyway, I wanted it to, to be lighter in the middle to make it kind of look like it was rounded. But I'm erasing that little highlight. I can add it back. <laughs> um, uh, well, it's coming down pretty good, but I hope, I hope we won't get too much. I don't know if y'all can see what that does, but it, to me, it makes it, and I could go back even with the darker and darker around the edge. The color is a little bit washed out anyway, so that might be a good idea. Maybe darken a little in the center. Yeah, I can imagine it would be cold in Michigan. Okay, and then I'll put that little highlight back in. And 
right. Oh, and I also did this. I put a little white on all of these to make those kind of stand out a little bit. I love this um, pen for adding little details like that. Okay, I'm going to go back and do a little erasing in there where I got carried away with the background, but that's basically the idea. Now, was that easy or was that easy? Everybody should be able to do that. I love it when I see y'all trying this stuff and then showing me your pictures. It makes me happy. Okay, so you can see the difference. I put a little bit more you know, colors in this, and I spent more time doing greenery. White, oh, yeah, you could probably do it with a white jelly roll, I think. Um, this has a little bit more liquid coming out of it, so it's um, it does do a little bit better, I think, than a jelly roll. And, you know, even with these, I might go back in and darken, darken the center because you want to make it look like it goes deep down in the flower. Like I said, I was trying to do this quickly and add some more dark around there just so, just don't overwork it so that it gets muddy. But that's basically it, girls, and everybody can do this. Instagram is same thing, Susan Gazinski. I put Howell on my Facebook because, um, some of my people where I grew up didn't know who I was as Susan Gazinski, so that's why it's there. But everywhere else is just Susan Gazinski. And don't look at my lettering because that's not my strong point. You'll have to learn that from somebody else. And I'm, I'm trying to work on it, but I've got a long way to go. Anyway, thanks for joining me today, y'all. Anybody have a question before? Oh, this is the, once again, this is the fixative that I'm going to